Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 23, and this is war number 8. And we're going up against an alliance called 2MK. I do not know how to read the full name, uh, but I've gone in, I've looked at my defenders along the paths that I take, and I'm going in with this team. And of course, when you see me take Corvus, you know it's probably because I feel like one of the defenders or two of the defenders are going to give him a charge. All right, so first node, path two, no defender, but we have a mutant right here. All right, so I am not that familiar with fighting Professor X. I fought him. The tricky part about fighting Professor X seems to be managing those falters. So uh, when I'm going into this fight, I didn't practice or anything. I probably should have, but I didn't practice. Uh, but I felt like I should be able to just keep an eye out for the falters. And I should be good. All right, so we're going in here. Uh, this is strike counter. Uh, Fury. So as the counters go down to zero, the defender is going to start generating Furies, as you see there. All right. And you see the falter is ready. So I know, you know, to just do a single swipe. All right. And all right, we're back. And everything's looking good right now. But then that happened. All right. I was looking at it. I was like, okay, I just need to do a little bit more. He intercepted me. And now look at my health from that one special because he had all those furies that's the danger of path two if you ignore the node you'd better not get hit if you get hit you're gonna pay pretty badly all right so the mini here is hyperion and of course i looked at that and i'm like okay we got somebody for hyperion We've got Stubborn, uh, which is the defense tactic. And I love fighting with Nick Fury because he's a stubborn attacker. So uh, I don't have to worry about the indestructible as long as I keep parrying. Now, my goal here is to take him down without having to eat a special three or at least having the life model decoy still there. Okay, so I see this. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna have to go all in here. Hope this takes him out. It does. All right, now I probably could have uh, eaten that special three and not had the life model decoy destroyed, but I like to have as much of a buffer as I can going into the next fights. So we were able to get down uh, Hyperion pretty easily. Uh, that middle node already taken. And I was not going to touch this cord. Uh, I could have with uh, my Black Widow, but we have folks that do very well against Korg on that Mixed Master. Uh, I've taken that node before with Omega Red, but I'm not comfortable with it. So I couldn't guarantee that I was going to uh, get that one shot. All right. Now, look at who we've got again, another Hyperion. And I really have the best counter for this Hyperion of, you know, my alliance mates on the left side here. All right. So in this particular uh, fight, it's a little bit different than the first fight. Node is different. That EMP modification means you don't want to go in with someone that has a lot of buffs. Well, Nick Fury doesn't have a lot of buffs. And you don't want to evade a lot, you know, because you're going to get that um, buff from your dexterity. Some people turn off decks. I don't. All right. I'm just going to try my best to not trigger decks too often. Okay. So you can see here, you know, I tried to go back a little bit, you know, early. Uh, sometimes I'm a little late, but that's pretty much the goal here. Okay, bait out the specials, go in and try to bleed him down 
Those indestructibles, annoying. So that means I now have to parry or take a blocked hit to get rid of him. I haven't built up a lot. You see, he's just standing there and then he just starts hitting me. I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? All right, so we just go in here trying to do the same thing we did that first one. He stunned and we got him down. The real Nick Fury has still not come out. So we still have that buffer. And we finished this fight pretty much the same way we finished that first fight. That stun helped us out a ton. Now, I'm going to be using Nick Fury also against this thing. Because Nick Fury is an awesome counter to thing. And keep in mind, the real Nick Fury has not come out yet. All right. Now, I saw some other things a little bit later. And so I wanted to just give him a little heal um, just for a little extra buffer, especially with Thing, because I might take a lot of blocked hits. I might get trapped in the corner. All right. So we're going in here and we we know how to fight Thing. OK, got to manage those rock charges. And with Nick Fury, it's very easy to manage the rock charges because as you'll see, his rock charges keep going down because every time Nick Fury would apply a bleed to him, he loses a rock charge, okay? And because he is a stubborn attacker, every time he does a parry, he is going to put those destructible charges on Thing, all right? Right now, there's four of them up there. So that means I can trigger the indestructible four times, now five times, and not have to worry about my opponent actually going un, uh, indestructible. So you see the indestructible text, but he didn't actually go indestructible. That's what makes Nick Fury just so awesome of an attacker because everybody seems to love choosing the stubborn defense tactic. So we took out Thing without too much difficulty. I've actually fought Thing on the boss node and was able to get the solo barely because you know we tried to slow play it uh we usually end up uh with the life model decoy destroyed and then right down to the wire uh if we haven't messed up or made any mistakes we uh can get him down but usually it's a close thing all right so now we're going to be fighting warlock he's a tech so i'm already looking at this and you'll notice that i'm doing some uh intercepts that's because I'm hoping to be able to get him down, as I did, very, very quickly. Um, I don't want to get the infection on me if I can help it. So uh, the less contact that I make, the better. Uh, so we got him down. And now this Iron Man Infinity War, uh, if you watch my previous wars, you know that I usually can take this guy. But my alliance mate... He also had Corvus, and uh, his was also a six-star and Awakened. Uh, and he was much, much healthier than I was. So he went ahead and took that Iron Man Infinity War. All right, so this fight here is from Apex Predator. And if you're not familiar with Apex Predator, he is a huge supporter of my channel. He joined the Dorks Alliance a little bit after I did. And he is fighting Void on that hazard shift node. And I remember the difficulty that we had in my previous alliance. But I want you guys to see what he is able to do with Ghost. Now, of course, he has his uh, tech boost up. But look at this. Ghost is just ripping it up. And he is doing an excellent job of playing Ghost. Those... Tech boosts with Ghost are insane. He was able to get a one shot on a node that we often had issues with. And as you can see, boss, mini boss island cleared. Uh, almost got the solo. And so I'm just going in here basically to just clean up. All right. But almost got the solo. Uh, he told me he made uh, a little mistake. And it's very easy. One mistake, and that's it, you know? Uh, just one of the many reasons I don't like Alliance War. So we're not too worried. Remember, the real Nick Fury is not out yet. So we're good, okay? 
You know, I'm just going in. Uh, even if I mess up, I still have the real Nick Fury. All right. And look at this. 1%, 1%. What is it? 1%, 1%. And the life model decoy was destroyed just as I finished off thing. Fun, fun, fun. Anyway, so that's it for this war. And we'll have a little intermission. And we'll be back and you will find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Now, with this win, we might have a chance to hit Platinum 3. So the Alliance War plan, as far as I understand it, is we aim for Platinum 4. But if we see a chance to get Platinum 3, we'll try to make a little push. And, you know, if we lose and we see that there's no possible way that we can hit Platinum 3, then we'll do maybe some boss rushes towards the end and not really worry about it. The rewards between Platinum 3 and Platinum 4 are very similar. And the resource that I want the most are the T2 Alphas. And I believe the T2 Alphas are the same between the two um, tiers. Uh, so we'll see how things go. Uh, if we keep winning, then we will push and we might have a good chance to get Platinum 3. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching this video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.